politics is a very interesting game. And just like I keep on saying on this platform, that in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. Everything is normally well planned, scripted, and executed to achieve specific political objectives. Last week, Raila Amolo Dinga held a lunch meeting with Professor Kivutha Kibwana, Muhisa Kitui, and James Orengo. I did a comprehensive video about that particular meeting. You can watch it. I'm going to put the link below here. And today, just like it was expected, Professor Kivutha Kibwana has finally decided to abandon William Samoy Ruto and Linda Kativa Initiative and is now supporting the Building Bridges Initiative process. Tunajumuika pamoja wa makueni, wa machakos, na vile vile, kwa sawa tumezungumza kwa simu na ngilu, jinzi pia wale wa kitui, uh, the third part of SECEP, na wao vile vile uh, wata, wata amua. Na uh, our people, uh, vile vile the assemblies, are not doing this because they have been forced by anybody. Uh, uh, I didn't myself want to force the people so that they can adopt my point of view. Kwa hivyo, hakuna kiongozi ataenda hapo mbele ya seme ni yeye amefanya watu wakubali jambo fulani and we want to make sure that the whole world knows these people who are here act according to the voice of their electorate and they don't act because a particular leader who is not elected has told them to to behave in a particular way. The question is, why is Professor Kivutha Kibwana changing his stance? Remember Professor Kivutha Kibwana, at some points Kenyans were even willing to donate money for him to stand or to run as a presidential candidate in 2022. What has really changed? When Professor Kibutha Kibwana joined William Samoy Ruto, I also did a video on this platform. And I explained to you guys the value which Professor Kivutha Kibwana was adding to the William Samoy Ruto's brigades. The first thing I said is that Professor Kivutha Kibwana was adding reform credentials to William Ruto's camp. Remember today, I can challenge you to show me any individual supporting William Samoy Ruto with reform credentials. I don't think you can mention any other person apart from Senator Hassan Omar. The rest don't have that reform credentials. So when Kivutha Kibwana joined him, he brought reform credentials to that particular camp. The second thing Professor Kivutha Kibwana brought to William Samoy Ruto was the performer tag. When William Ruto was the Minister for Agriculture, Minister for uh, Education, his record is very clear. He actually performed so well. So most Kenyans who are supporting William Ruto believe that they are supporting him because he's a performer. Professor Kivutha Kibwana is considered in this country as one of the best performing cabinet, sorry, the best performing governors in this country. So when he joined that ticket, Kenyans saw in that camp performers because most people believed that Professor Kivutha Kibwana was then going to come on board as a running mate. The other thing he added was the national image. Around William Ruto, there's no, there are very few individuals with the national image. But Professor Kivutha Kibwana had that national image on his own personal capacity. When you talk of Ndindi Nyoro, Ndindi Nyoro might just be known, but it doesn't have any influence beyond, beyond uh, Kiharu. You talk of Oscar Sudi, no influence beyond Kapsaret. You talk of uh, these other ones, but Professor Kibutha Kibwana has a national image. So he was bringing that to that camp. And then he was also offering what is now I can refer to as credible running mate. Because the other question which is, asked, which is being asked is, who is likely to be William Ruto's running mate? Will that person come from central Kenya? Will it come from the coast? Will it come from western Kenya? So Professor Kibutha Kibwana with his credential was providing a credible running mate to William Samuel Ruto. I know most of you guys will ask me why I'm claiming that Professor Kivutha Kibwana has dumped William Samiruto. 
The fact of the matter is that in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. The mere fact that Professor Kivutha Kibwana held a meeting with the Raila Molo Dinga is enough evidence that is actually leaving William Samai Ruto's camp. Professor Kivutha Kibwana toured this country with William Samai Ruto. He attended that church service in Nairobi. The deputy president again even went to his, his county and they started working and working together. So the mere fact that is now coming out openly. In fact, the main reason why Professor Kivutha Kibwana decided to disembark to disembark from uh, the Building Bridges Initiative uh, train was because of his association with the Deputy President William Samaruto. By that time, the Deputy President was very vocal on his opposition to the Building Bridges Initiative process. Now, I want to pose a question. Why do you think Professor Kibutha Kibwana has finally decided to dump William Ruto's camp? I know you'll tell me he was not there. You'll tell me about the, he was part of Linda Katiba. The fact of the matter is that Linda Katiba initiative was being propelled by William Samuel Ruto. But why do you think he has dumped that camp? I have five theories. Number one, there are chance that Professor Kivutha Kipwana was actually a Trojan horse sent by President Ruth Kenyatta and Raila Molodinga to go and spy on William Samuel Ruto and his camp as far as the Building Bridges Initiative process is, confirmed, is uh, concerned. Why do I say so? That's the question. Professor Kibutha Kibwana was one of the prominent faces of the Building Bridges Initiative process. During the BBI tours, Professor Kibwana was one of the governors who never missed any of those events. And he, he, he never failed to address the gatherings. At Bomas One, he was one of the few speakers who spoke at that event. So when the, the final BBI two came, then Professor Kibuda started pulling back. Why was he pulling back? In my considered opinion, it was a strategy for him to go and penetrate and get more details from that other side. Professor Kivutha Kibwana is just a politician, just like the rest. If anything, he's one of the highly respected politicians, having been a cabinet minister. So basically, he's one guy who can easily be used. And because of his credentials, very few people were going to doubt, especially on William Ruto's camp, because they were very keen on attracting these names. Nobody was going to doubt his motive. So that's number one. Number two, I think politics is also local. You must begin from the local. In McQueen County, for example, are they supporting BBI or are they opposed to the Building Bridges Initiative process? That's the question. In my considered opinion, McQueen MCS were going to support the BBI. When we go for the referendum, McQueen County is also going to vote to yes to this referendum because of the influence of Kalonzo Musioka. It means if Professor Kivutha Kibona was going to go against the the, the BBI, he was going to be alone. In the last election in Ukampani and in the entire country, McWhenny is one of the counties which voted almost to the last man for Raila Molodinga, courtesy of people like Kivuta Kibwana, courtesy of people like uh, Kalonzo Mosioka. So they are, they, they, are, they, can be, they are predictable. You can tell that these guys are going to support the BBI. So because politics is local, Probably Professor Kibutha Kibwana has interacted with the locals there and he has realized that this thing <clears throat> it's not good for me. Let me support it. Number three, which is also a possibility, is that Professor Kibutha Kibwana, after meeting with Raila Molodinga and Professor Kibutha Kibwana, I mean and Dr. Muhisa Kitui, has realized that the political formation which is being crafted by Raila Molodinga and President Ruru Kenyatta is likely to form the next government. Don't be cheated. None of the current governors is willing to stay out of the cold. Some of them are so powerful, some of them have done so much, and they are only two terms. Some of them are being asked by their constituents, for example, to run. Obado is likely to run as a senator in Migori. 
in a Lego Songa, Governor Rasanga is under immense pressure from the elders there, from the women and from the youths in a Lego Songa to run for the member of parliament in that constituency. Professor Hebutha Kebwana, Kenyans are willing to sponsor him as a presidential candidate. But in your honest opinion, do you think Professor Kebutha Kebwana can actually win the presidency? He can't win. So what's the point of Professor Kebutha Kebwana running for the presidency while he can't win? Then it means he must join a formation. And that's why he met with Raila Molodinga. And Raila Molodinga is telling him, look here, Kalonzo Musioka is not there. Mm. Musale Mdavad is not there. Let's bring Muhisa Kitui. You come on board. We form a team. We work together during the multipartism and the second liberation. We can work again. So I'm convinced, beyond any reasonable doubt, that Professor Kivutha Kibwana, <laughs> just being a politician, would not want to be left out in the next government. If Raila is going to form government with Uru Kenyatta, then Professor Kivutha Kibwana can be a powerful cabinet minister. He can be a deputy prime minister. Professor Kivutha Kibwana can be a running mate. He can also be a prime minister. That's the reality. Number four, I think Professor Kivutha Kibwana has also weighed the options available. And he has realized, because he's been in government, that William Ruto's chances for the presidency in 2022 is dimmed. Not as bright as he thought. He has considered several factors. Otherwise, if chances are so high on William Ruto's side, I'm sure he would have still stayed that other side. So it's realized that William Ruto's chance of becoming the president in 2022 it's not going to be possible. <laughs> so the best thing for him is to disembark. And that's why, and I think I, I remember opining on this platform and commenting on another post, on another comment here, that why, why is it that Professor Kivuta Kibwana is no longer attending William Ruto's events? Probably he has this embarked. And just like I said, and I'm repeating, that ideologically, when Professor Kifutha Kibwana joined Tim Tanga Tanga, I knew there was nothing ideological which brought Uhuru and Ruto together, and that's why they parted with the same thing. There is nothing ideologically that can reconcile Professor Kifutha Kibwana's thinking and those of Tim Tanga Tanga. Now you are in a situation where we have Professor Kifutha Kibwana here talking of second liberation, and you have another guy this side Didmas Barasa, a man, if you Google his details, the only thing you get is scandals after scandals and con conmanship. There was no way these guys were going to work. So there was no ideology. So he figured out all this and then decided, let me disembark. And lastly, I think there's bigger war outside there in the Linda Katiba initiative. Remember the Linda Katiba initiative took the BBI to court. And the person who did that was the McQueenie governor, Professor Kivutha Kibwana. By now supporting the BBI, it means Professor Kivutha Kibwana is likely to go tomorrow to court and withdraw that case. The court ruled that the BBI cannot proceed until all those court cases are, 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 are determined. One of those court cases was one filed by Professor Kibota Kibwana. He's now supporting BBI. Do you think he will allow that case to continue? I don't think so. Let me hear your thoughts. Why do you think Professor Kibota Kibwana has finally decided to start supporting BBI and dump the Linda Katiba initiative? Linda Katiba initiative leader was Professor Kibota Kibwana, then David Ndi, and after David Ndi insulted the Luo community, the donors who had planned to pump money there refused to pump money in that. Jerutich saw, say one of the key players there also hosted Raila Molodinga yesterday. So it means there were conflict. Again, if you look at it critically, there were certain individuals in uh, Linda Katiba initiative 
whose ideology could not rhyme with the ones like the ones of Fundi. There is no way, there's no way activists like um, Boniface Mwangi <laughs> was going to work with Professor Kibutha Kibwana because his activism is totally different from the activism of people like David, people like Jero Tchisoy. It's totally different from the activism of people like <laughs> Professor Kibutha Kibwana. Let me hear your thoughts, by the way. Thank you, guys. And please, just give this video a like. It, it, it doesn't cost you anything. Just click like.